Hi everybody, I am James Thomas with Jaybird Labs and welcome to the Node Code Setup Tutorial. This is the first of three walkthroughs that will show you how to download, install, and create a program that blinks an LED that's connected to a Raspberry Pi. The first thing we need to do is go to nodecode.io, click directly on the downloads menu item, click Node Code version 0.1 and save the file to your normal downloads directory. When the file is downloaded, we can go to your downloads directory, right click, go to properties, click the unblock checkbox, and hit OK. We can now right click again and extract into the default node code folder. Once the extraction is completed, we can move it to a more permanent location. The next step is setting up the node code hub. The first step in doing this is creating a data folder for the node code database. While we're here, let's go ahead and copy the path to this directory because we'll need it in the next step. Next, we need to edit some values within the hub configuration file. This file has a location for the database in the directory that we just created, as well as the location of the services that come prepackaged. After the changes to the configuration file have been made, save the file and we'll try starting the hub for the first time. If everything worked properly, you'll see a lot of tables that were not found and were therefore created. When prompted, go ahead and allow access to the firewall. That wraps up the hub configuration. Now we can connect to the hub with the desktop software. Under the NodeCode folder, click on the file called nc.wpf.exe to start the desktop. The first time you open the desktop software, it's going to be pretty empty. This will change soon though as you add a hub and start adding your node code programs. To add a hub, click the plus sign in the lower right hand corner. First we need to name the hub. We're going to use home in this case. Next we need to specify the address of the hub. This starts off with wss colon forward slash forward slash which means we're connecting with a secure WebSocket. The address can be found by using the ipconfig command at the command prompt on the computer that the hub is running. The node code hub runs on port 53125. Let's go ahead and click on the checkbox to save it. Now we need to log in. The early release of node code only has one user allowed. The user's name is node code and the password is password. Click on the checkbox to log in. The login was successful. You'll see logged in on the hubs panel. That's it. We're now connected to the hub. Check out the next tutorial to see how to connect our first device to node code.